Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing how to convert from sinusoids to phases and from phases to sinusoids. And primarily, we'll be solving practice problem 9.4 and practice problem 9.5. And this is, of course, for the beginners of the network analysis. Now, uh, a trick that if you remember, it will be easier uh, for you to convert. So, converting from cosine to sine, if you keep this part in mind, that we are going from S to S. So, when we are going from S to S directly, then you add plus 90 degree. And what does this mean? Let's see from here. Cosine omega t, we want to convert this into sine omega t. So, S to S, therefore we add 90 degree with this. Now, the opposite will be different that means if you convert from sine to cosine then you see it is not from s to s it is rather n to c so uh, here we had added positive here we'll add negative 90 degree so negative 90 for sine to cosine so if you just memorize this part your life will be easy okay the next part is Converting a negative number to positive number or negative cos omega t to positive cos omega t. Uh, so if you see from here, if you want to go to the positive side, then we have to add 190 degree or we have to subtract 190 degree. So the formula for this now will be that minus cos omega t is equal to cos omega t plus 180 or minus 180. And similarly for sine. So minus sine omega t will be sine omega t plus 180 or minus 180. So keep this point in mind as well. And finally, if we have an angle theta and if you add 360 with that, so this is angle theta, we are adding 360, that means we are taking a complete circle, then we come back to the same point, that means theta plus 360 is equal to theta. Similarly, theta minus 360 is also equal to theta. And finally, you have to keep this point in mind that if you want to convert from time domain to phasor domain, the signal has to be in cosine form. It is not a must, but this makes life easy. So we'll convert any signal, whether it is, uh, if it is in sine, we'll convert that into cosine. If it is in cosine form, then from here directly we can write the phasor. That means phasor form will be the magnitude, this magnitude Vm, and this angle phi. Okay, now let's come to the practice problem. We have to convert these sinusoidals into phasor. So part A, part A is easy, it is already in cosine form, so we don't have to do much. Just keep this formula in mind. We write the magnitude for the phasor and we write the angle for the phasor. So from here directly we can say that the phasor of this is 7 angle, this magnitude 7 and this angle 40. This is written in bold, phasor is written in bold, but when you are writing with your pen you don't have to make it bold. You simply put a dash over it a straight line that will also show that it is in phasor. Okay, so this was the answer for first part. Second part is slightly tricky because it is in negative and it is it is also in sign. First of all we'll take care of the negative from here we will be using this formula. So negative is taken care of by adding plus 180 degree. So plus 180 degree, you could we could also add minus 180 degree. We'll see that. And solving this becomes plus 190. And now we convert this into cosine because we have to have it in cosine form. So sine to cosine, we know the formula from here. Cosine to sine is direct, so 90. But sine to cosine is indirect, so minus 90. So minus 90 for cosine. So 4 cosine, the same angle with minus 90 degree. Solving, we get cosine and 100 degree. And now it is in this form, so we can write it into phasor. So 
the phasor will be I is equal to 4 magnitude and angle 100 degree. So now you can ask what will happen if we had would have taken minus 180 here then let's see. So minus 180 will make minus 170 to convert into cosine again we subtract minus 90. So this will be minus 260 and the answer will be I4 angle minus 260. Now you can say that this is plus 100 and this is minus 260. How come they are same? Okay, so let's see the condition that we had of adding 360. So theta plus 360 is theta. So minus 260 this plus 360 is 100. That means minus 260 is equal to 100. So minus 260 is equal to 100. Then practice problem 9.5 here from phases to uh, we have to convert into sinusoidals. Here also it is negative so we will first of all remove the negative by adding 180 degree same thing minus 25 plus 25. So with this we add plus 180 degree or we could also subtract minus 180 degree. This is 25 angle 220. This is 25 angle minus 140. Now from here we can directly convert into uh, using this formula into the time domain. So this will be 25 cos omega t plus 220 and this will be 25 cos omega t minus 140 but they are same as we mentioned if you add 360 with this angle it will be plus 220 so basically they are same okay simplify this one multiplying by j here we are getting j square 5 j square we know is equal to minus 1 if you don't know you just remember this that j square is equal to minus 1. So putting it minus 1 here, you get j12 plus 5. We write the real part first. So real part plus j12. Now for going into uh, uh, the sinusoidal we have to have it in the uh, polar form or magnitude angle form. And for that we will take help of this diagram. You can see this is the real axis x which is equal to r cos theta. This is imaginary axis y which is equal to r sin theta. The magnitude of the two is the polar form r and this is the angle. So now there are two forms. This one is called the rectangular form which our question is in the rectangular form and this is the magnitude angle form or also called polar form. So we need to go into this form first. So for that we have to use this formula r can be calculated as x square y square under root 2 from the Pythagoras theorem and the angle is tangent inverse y over x. So for this r is 13 and angle is 67.38. So our I in phasor, this is in rectangular form, not in polar form, is 1367.38. And now using this formula, we can convert into time domain, the magnitude and angle given. So in time domain, I t will be 13, the magnitude, cos omega t plus this angle. Now when you learn how to use the calculator this step you can easily calculate that 5 plus j12 which is from rectangular to polar when you convert you will get this answer straight away 13 and angle 67.38 i hope you have been able to follow this question and you can solve this type of a question easily by following these steps thank you